सो हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल होप यू हैव नॉट फॉर गॉटन इट ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर फिफ्थ सेम स्टूडेंट्स ओके मीन वाइल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद आवर क्लासेस आई वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म यू वन इम्पॉर्टेंट अपडेट अबाउट द थर्ड सेम वीडियोज ओके सो नाउ एट नाउ आई एम हैविंग द वट टू से ऑडियंस ऑफ फिफ्थ सेम ओके that is the fifth sem students are uh, mostly about 70 to 80% of the uh, viewers are from fifth sem only so my humble request to you all is that uh, we have already uh, uploaded the third sem videos okay and uh, those who are uh, your relative or those who are studying in third sem okay those who are uh, what to say a relative of you or uh, they want any material regarding their third sem engineering studies for max and for all other subjects it is available in our channel so my humble request to you all is who and all are watching this video and who and all are the fifth sem students okay you can share this channel and uh, uh, and make them helpful about this channel that uh, we are having this channel called vtu academy okay and uh, especially for max we have created in uh, in brief playlist and all the module all the module wise all the concepts you have explained it in detail so before starting this video i would i would like to tell you all the fifth sem students that please share this channel with all your uh, juniors all the third sem students those who are your relatives or those who you know the most okay so this channel would be helpful for them okay so yeah now let's get started with the fifth sem okay fifth sem this is one subject okay that is bec 503 subject code the subject is digital communication okay so this is the subject and uh, this is the first video of this uh, digital communication and uh, my humble request to you all is please okay uh, please uh, don't skip this video and uh, watch till end because i'm going to give brief explanation about some of the concepts okay so let's start with the the first concept of this digital communication that is hilbert transform okay this is the first concept hilbert transform before knowing hilbert hilbert transform you need to be knowing some of the few terms which you have already studied that is you need to recall that is fourier transform so what is fourier transform uh, in third sem as i mentioned third sem we have studied this fourier transform in third sem in detail that was in the subject max now we are subject uh, we are uh, studying this with respect to digital communication okay so before uh, going to this uh, fourier transform i would like to tell you something about digital communication this subject only in brief what is this digital communication okay where it is used how it is utilized so in fourth sem we have studied one subject called as principles of communication right okay that we have studied with respect to analog signals here we are studying with respect to digital system okay that is uh, how the analog signals will uh, act when it is converted into digital mode okay that is you know that digital means zeros and ones binary forms okay that is the main goal here okay in the fourth sem we have studied about principles of communication where we have uh, analyzed the circuits block diagrams and came to a conclusion that how it is responsible and how it is uh, responsible for giving the particular output in this digital communication what we are studying is we are studying in detail about the signals okay H how the signals are generated in the communication system and how it reacts and how it produces output okay there are few of the characteristics that we are studying in this subject called as digital communication okay so this was a brief introduction about digital communication so now let's get to the fourier transform analyzing and designing frequency selective filters okay so what is this word called as filters here we have studied this filters right filters means removing of the uh, unwanted frequency components present in the circuit okay any unwanted frequency component which is uh, present in the circuit in order to uh, uh, act uh, uh, the circuit uh, to behave as a stable state we use this filters okay analyzing and designing frequency selective filters okay that is called as fourier transform in case of this digital communication so now let's discuss about hilbert transform now okay hilbert transform is method of separating signals based on their phase selectivity okay that's this is one basic definition of hilbert transform that is in this hilbert transform whatever the signals are generated we need to be separating or splitting them in accordance with their phase okay that is phase change here uh, is very necessary the change of phase that is change of angles okay 
यूजर्स ऑफ फेस शिफ्ट बिटवीन सिग्नल्स टू अचीव डिजायर्ड सेपरेशन दैट इज आई टोल्ड यू राइट फेस शिफ्ट इज नेसेसरी इन दिस केस फेस शिफ्ट बिटवीन द सिग्नल्स टू अचीव द डिजायर्ड सेपरेशन इन ऑर्डर टू कॉल इट एज अ हिलबर्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म पेयर ओके The third point is phase angles of all components of a given signal are shifted by plus or minus 90 degree. Again, I'm highlighting this plus or minus 90 degree. Resulting function is called as Hilbert transform. That is, phase angles of all components of a given signal are shifted. That is, for example, if you uh, consider one simple signal here, okay, this is one sin sinusoidal wave, and if you want to change its phase, how you can change it? If this is in this way and suddenly if you want to change it by 90 degree the it would be reversed and it should be moving like this okay so this is a simple uh, phase change okay in order to separate the signals the phase angles must be changed to plus or minus 90 degrees so that you can separate the signal and we can name those two signals separately one is sine wave and if we you know that for sine wave if we make a phase shift of plus or minus 90 degree it automatically become becomes a cosine wave so that's why sine wave and cosine wave we can sep uh, separate it in a different way from a single signal okay by using the hilbert transform that is resulting function is named as hilbert transform hilbert transform of g of t is denoted by g cap of t okay this is the denotion of what in this way the hilbert transform is denoted g cap of t ie g cap of t is equal to this is the formula okay this formula is very very important because in this few sessions we are going to discuss only the theory part and uh, Togetherly, we are going to solve all the different kinds of problems here. Okay, there are problem at the, there are problems here in this subject. Uh, very few problems, as I have told you, right? This semester, uh, this semester only two subjects are there, which is problematic based. One is digital communication, and one is digital signal processing. Okay, that is a very very complicated subject, very easy subject, but the problems, uh, problematic subject only, but the problems it takes a lot of time. Okay. that i have uh, i would be doing a separate video on that as well so yeah let we are discussing about hilbert transform right hilbert transform is given as g cap of t is equal to 1 by pi integration from minus infinity to infinity g of tau divided by t minus tau d tau where this tau or torque is called as the torque produced by the rotational motion okay that is whenever the phase shift is taken place plus or minus 90 degree the torque is produced okay whenever the phase shift will take place and this torque is responsible for the phase reversal or the separation of the signals okay this indicates this uh, hilbert transform torque okay now inverse hilbert transform inverse hilbert transform is g cap of t is uh, taken again as g of t inverse hilbert transform is represented as g of t is equal to minus 1 by pi integration from minus infinity to infinity g cap of t divided by t minus tau d tau okay this was this is about hilbert tran in hilbert transform in detail i have told you once again i am going to recall what is hilbert transform okay it is named as a quadrature filter okay it is a basically a filter circuit method of separating signals based on their phase selectivity one particular signal would be given if you want to split that signal or separate the separate the signal using that particular signal the phase selectivity is very important phase shift between signals to achieve the desired separation is is going to take place here okay normally it is plus or minus 90 degree for a, i give gave you one example that is if you take one sine wave and we do plus or minus 90 degree phase shift it would be converted into the cosine wave so that sine wave and cosine wave from a single uh, sig signal would be separated okay that is a one simple example of this hilbert transform and this is the formula for hilbert uh, hilbert transform as well as inverse hilbert transform okay so please uh, pause the video and make a note of this okay because uh, we are not going to provide notes now okay so please pause the video and uh, make a note okay so now let's discuss some more few of the concepts so now let's discuss about hilbert transform pairs okay this table is very important here so this table you should uh, uh, make a note of it and some of the hilbert transform pairs have noted the noted it down here for you guys one by one i'm going to read it out because these hilbert transform pairs it's uh, we are going to use this in uh, many many kinds of problems and how it is used and how it is used for separation of the signals and how it is represented uh, using these notations how the signals are represented okay yeah so first hilbert transform pair is m of t 
cos 2 pi fct uh, in place of 2 pi fc we can uh, you know that you can also write it as omega c since omega is equal to 2 pi f okay the, this is uh, in uh, if you uh, want to pair it uh, the hilbert transform pair it is you know, uh, given as m of t sin 2 pi fct similarly m of t into sin 2 pi fct ct is represented as minus m of t cos 2 pi fct this is the second hilbert transform pair third is cos 2 pi fct is represented as sin 2 pi fct sin 2 pi fct is represented as cos 2 pi fct sin t by t is given as 1 minus cos t by t uh, rect of t that is rect stands for rectangle okay rectangular wave that is rect of t is given as 1 by pi logarithm of uh, mo in the modulus symbol that is we are, whatever the logarithm term is that it should be positive only so that's why we are mentioning this magnitude or mod modulus symbol t minus half divided by t plus half tau of uh, tau of t this is an impulse function okay please if you want uh, recall this we have studied this in network analysis this uh, symbol represents an impulse function or an impulse strain this is the simple impulse uh, uh, in this way the impulse is uh, notated okay we have used this in sampling theorem and all so you should be knowing this so that is uh, its Hilbert transform pair is 1 by pi t 1 divided by 1 plus t square is given as t divided by 1 plus t square and last one is 1 by t it's given as minus pi into dou of t okay so these are the some of the Hilbert transform pairs here. I have uh, uh, made a note of it. So please pause the video and refer it down. Okay. So this was uh, a basic introduction about this uh, Hilbert transform and Hilbert transform pair. Okay. And in brief, I have uh, introduced you with the concept and the subject. So please, uh, uh, I, those who are uh, watching this video from uh, right now, I suggest you all to please watch this full video because I'm not uh, making this video a lengthy one. You can watch it. I'm going to stop it right now because this is an introduction part because these concepts are very, very important. Okay. So that's all. This uh, Hilbert transform pair table, pause the video and refer it down. And uh, from this uh, video, uh, from this uh, uh, session onwards, I'm going to do continuously the I am going to provide the videos continuously of digital communication side by side also I am going to provide you the videos of digital signal processing DSP okay that subject is very important problematic subject very interesting subject and uh, you can easily pass it if you listen to my sessions very very carefully without skipping okay what and all I teach what and all uh, it is taught for me that only I am uh, trying to present it to you all in a beautiful manner by making these notes and all so please uh, you should be uh, encouraging our uh, channel and it should be what to say motivating us to provide these more kind of contents so that's all for this session like share subscribe guys and we will uh, we will see you in the next session with the continuation of this digital communication with some more concepts okay so that's all please like share subscribe guys like this video because uh, uh, it would be motivating us that's all thank you